All right, my name is Don, and this is uh, my shark deck. Shark. First, we're starting off with double fin shark. Its effect is when this card is normal summon, you can target one level three or level four, four water fish type monster in your graveyard and special summon that target in defense position. But its effects are negated, and you cannot special summon monsters during the to turn you activate this effect, except water monsters. Mm -hmm. This is real good to help you go into your rank four water monsters place. It's really based on rank fours to go into Bahamut and Toad. Now the second set, the three of is ten goldfish, which is when this card is normal summon, you can special summon level four lower monster from your hand to the field. <laughs> and then you can go into your rank fours. Silent Angler is when you have like the one of cards and you can just special summon this for free if you control a water monster, which yes, helps you go into a rank force, which your water. So, wind up shark. If you control another one, you can special summon this one when it's normal summon, which you can increase this level to make it five or both of them, or you can decrease the level to make it three to go in rank three plays or rank five. And then you can also go into force. Saber shark. Its effect is, uh, cannot be used as a synchro summon, up to twice per turn, you can target one fish type monster on the field, then activate one of these effects, you can increase this level by one, or reduce it by one, you cannot special summon any monster during this turn except water monsters, so basically you just, you can increase him and another water monster to make their level fives and then overlay, or you can just go into force. Then you got the three gate white. Oh gee. <laughs> Deck, bro. I'll show y'all why. Now we got the one ups. This is why. Got that rescue rabbit to get the great whites on board. The way they can help you go into your rank four. You got the aqua spirit to banish special. Going to another rank four. Got bubble man. Just cuz. Cause. Yeah, just because everyone knows what he does. You got XYZ or more. Basically, if you control any XYZ monster, you can detach two off of any of them, and then you can special summon it, and then special summon two fish back from your graveyard, and then you can keep going with your more combos. Cool. On to spells, I got two unexpected dies for your rank force. That way you can bring out great for white. Sharks. Yeah. Bring out gray white. You can only summon just strikes with that? Unexpected die? No, normal monsters. Normal monsters. But That's only. The reason why I run the great white sharks is because I need fishes in the graveyard to activate double fin sharks effect. Alright, second card is instant fusions. Uh, that way I can go into Nordic and yeah. uh, rare fish to keep going with my combos. Two twin twisters to get rid of back row. Yeah, we know what that does. Uh, two salvages that we can recycle your ten goldfish and double fin sharks and your silent anglers and stuff like that. That we keep your combos consistent. Then you got the one ups of spells, foolish barrel. That way you can dump. If you have nothing in your hand but a double fin shark, you can dump a shark to the grave and then normal summon double fin shark and get its effect to special summon the All fish right. back to the grave and go to your rank fours. You got water hazard to give you that extra free special summon that turn. If you control no monsters, you can special summon it and then you can just normal and then keep going. You got Soul Charge to bring back all your monsters. That way it comes in clutch like at some times when you don't have nothing good. You got the Rink Up Magic Lemon Bear Force. I have a, I do run a Rink Up monster, which is a, what's the name? Number C101 Silent Art. On her dark. So that's what that's for? Yeah. So. Uh, one up start to help hey. you draw. Keep it consistent. Consistent background. Yeah. Destruction or Geki. Consistency is key. Alright. And I'll trap line up. I got three solemn strikes. Hey. And one in feral order. Okay. We all know what that is. Alright. What is it? Extra deck. <laughs> Extra deck. I got former Chris Lone Lancer. Basically, it's rank 5. It can overlay on rank 5, so you can go into rank 5s and then activate the effect and then just overlay and then gain 500 for all the XC's material attached to it. Plus, it can negate monsters' effects that turn. Just that the turn? Yeah. Then you got number C101, Silent Honor Dark. Yeah, we saw Basically, that. Basically, you use the rank up. You can take a special summon monster for free. Then you can go into her and then it'll be. 500 forever XC's attached to it. 
Bahamut. Two Bahamuts? Two Bahamuts. And what are they for? For the Toads. For the Toads. Alright. You got number 37, Hope Wavern Spider Dragon. What does that do? Uh, basically, it's two level four water monsters. When any player monster declares an attack, you can detach one next inventory from this card. All monsters your opponent currently control lose a thousand attack until the end of this turn. When this card is destroyed by battle by card effect and sets to grave, you can special summon one of the water, special summon one of the monster in your graveyard. Special summon it. You can only use the effect of number thirty-seven Hope Waver and Dragon Spider Shark once per turn. So basically, you can bring back any other monster. The water one? Yeah. So you can bring back a toad. Mm, no, because <laughs> it wasn't properly summoned, so you can't bring it back out. All right, next. you can bring back Bahamut though. Former Black Ray Lancer. Base. When you go into Bahamut, if you run out of Toads, basically you detach, and you go into Nightmare Shark, which brings him out off of his effect, and then you just overlay on him. So basically, basically like another rank up to get him on board. His effect is uh, you can also exceed this card by using Rank Three Water Monsters you control. That has no XYZ material as the XYZ material. This card gains 200 attack for each XYZ material attached to it. This face up card would be destroyed. You can detach. Basically, it's like a silent art. And if it destroys a monster, it can um, pop the back row. Then you got the silent art. So basically, you can say if you got the rank up and they have two special summon monsters, you can detach, take one special summon monster, then rank up into him, activate effect, take the other special summon rank up monster, and then you can go into her. And then you have one, two, three, four, five. You have five attachments. Oh boy, Robin people do. And you gain 500 <laughs> for every attachment, plus you get more effects, and it can be destroyed for effects. Yeah, sweet. Yeah. Uh, Best Dweller, negate graveyard effects. Alright, yeah, we know what that is. Yeah. Uh, number 70, Malevolent Sin. Basically, it helps get rid of the board. Once per turn, you can detach one XZ material from this card, then target one monster your opponent controls, banish it until your opponent's the next standby phase. At the end of the damage step, this card attack, you can make this card gain 300 attack, and if you do, increase its loop rank by 3. So basically, you just remove it, and then you can attack for game, and then it gains 300 the battle sign. The Elder Entity Nordic. Alright. Rare fish. Rare fish, solid. Alright, Adon. Well, is that it? Or you got. Oh, hey, there's right. more. The side. Two malevolent catastrophes. <laughs> what the heck are those, dude? I hate running into traps. Like, so they're pain in the ass. Right. Especially when you go and get freaking invoke wind witches. <laughs> F you, Dan. You talking shit? <laughs> the Jinzo, also for traps, like Paleo. I need to put another one in, I can find it, but it's gonna go in there. All right. Uh, Diamond Dust basically blows up all waters, including my own, so I can burn, burn for damage. Good for time. Against Paleozoic, yeah. Two for time. Skill Drain to negate shit and stuff. All right. And then the two anti spell for hands. All right, well, solid deck of Don. Thank you for letting us see your uh, sharks. Yep. We'll hope to see you do work in the future with this deck. <laughs>